Hi, I'm Barbara Rimkunis, and this is your Exeter History Minute. February is such an exciting month. No, not because of Valentine's Day. February means President's Day, the greatest holiday of the year. Okay, we don't even really know what holiday it is. The federal holiday is officially Washington's birthday, even though it never falls on Washington's actual birthday. Most people think President's Day is a mashup of Washington and Lincoln's birthdays. It's officially President's Day in New Hampshire, whatever that means. We could just celebrate all the presidents. But to keep this history minute around our usual two minutes, we'll just look at the presidents who visited Exeter. George Washington was a newly elected president when he came to Exeter for breakfast at the Folsom Tavern in 1789. We can't say George Washington slept here, but we can say George Washington stepped here. Abraham Lincoln arrived before he was even a candidate in 1860 and did stay for three nights. We know where he had dinner, where he went to church, and where he made a speech, but we have no idea where he actually slept. So no historic plaque for him. James K. Polk stepped off the train to greet some local dignitaries in 1847. It wasn't exactly a visit. He was heading back to Washington after a visit to Maine, but at least he got off the train. Theodore Roosevelt's train didn't even stop when he came to Exeter in 1902. It slowed down at the depot and the president waved from the rear observation platform. The Exeter newsletter noted that he didn't even put down the magazine he was reading. Benjamin Harrison, remember him? Nobody remembers Benjamin Harrison. He was the president wedged between Grover Cleveland's two terms, the bologna and the Cleveland sandwich. On his way to Bar Harbor in 1889, Harrison's train stopped at the depot, and although he didn't get off the train, he did stand on the platform to pleasantly chat and shake hands. After 1952, when the New Hampshire's first in the nation primary began, we generally get visited by all the presidents, although most of them only turn up before they're elected. Really? Come back when the party's over. We'd love to see you again. For more exciting history of the town of Exeter, visit our website at www.exeterhistory.org.